Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over the setup that I've got. I already have two servers spun up on ADBS, a Salt Master and a Salt Minion. The Master is on the left and the Minion is on the right. Both of these servers are running Ubuntu 1804 LTS. I went with the setup because Vagrant in this version of Mac is rather unstable. Here I'm going to be installing Salt Master and Salt Minion with AppGet. Although I would love to use PIP, the latest version that's on the Master branch isn't stable. Thus, I went with this impression instead. On the master, I'm just running apt-get install salt master, obviously with sudo, and I'll be installing salt minion the exact same way. Both of these are coming from their local repositories, so it depends on what version your local repository has. Welcome back guys. As I've said, or as I've had before, I've got both the Salt Man Master and the Minion pulled up on their left and right pane. Um, so the next thing is to actually have it configured. Now I've pulled up the documentation here where basically I need to set up the file roots. And these file roots, this one in particular is for the, uh, for the states, and this tab over here has it for the pillar. And that's all I need for the time being. I may not even need the pillar at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be go, go ahead and creating these uh, fire roots. Now it doesn't say exactly explicitly where, but if you look at the um, if you look at the actual server on the master specifically, you have uh, this directory called master.d. Now the master file itself is actually a a uh, a template for the configuration. If you look at here, um, it's got this template for the file roots at the very top, towards the very top. There's lots and lots of new configurations that you can use. However, we just need the file roots. In fact, I can just say file roots or just say root. And there we go. So that's the first one, and down here, mm, no, missed it. it. Sucks not having a uh, a color terminal, especially when you're when you just spun up an instance. Ah, here we go, file roots. So we've got this file roots here. This is the example. Now this one right here is with multiple environments. However, I don't exactly like, and I know I've done this in the in the past, where I set up multiple environments. But I don't like how Salt does multiple environments because it doesn't actually. You have to rewrite the code or at least copy and paste it from one environment file to another in the state or in the pillar. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to have this base here. And then if I were to set up, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but if I'm going to set up multiple environments, I'm going to have these environments point to the same directory as base. And that way, when I test, when I do salt run uh, top.sls, which I'll get to in the future, I can target um, the same states across dev, prod, and, and base. So for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and then just add that to my, um, add that to my salt to my salt config, I'm sorry. So let's go back to master.d and then I'm just gonna have a file called roots.conf. And I don't want them to be commented out. So let's go ahead and do that. And two spaces over. Now I can have them in SRV salt, but I'm going to have them in SRV, SRV salt states because I also have a directory named pillars and test and so on. So because of this, I'm going to have them in SRV salt states. Now, SRV salt is actually going to be this repository that's going to be, going to be managed by git. So all I'll need to do in the master is git pull and then apply it so on. So that should take care of my, of my repository here. So I'm going to go ahead and 
exit out. And this file doesn't exist that, that I've put in just now in that configuration, that file doesn't exist. So I'm not gonna go ahead and try and route cell because it's gonna fail because that folder, none of the states, none of the pillar exists in this particular box. Um, on the minion, I'm gonna be doing something rather similar. Before I move on, I wanted to actually correct something. If you look here, um, when I copied this, there was this forward slash uh, for the states. Now, I don't know if this forward slash is gonna be required, but I'm gonna be a little safe and just uh, add that on there. So that way I know it'll look in the directory and not just in an individual file. Now, on the minion setup, uh, I'm just gonna be go ahead, I'm just gonna add the IP for the master onto the minion. So pretty simple. If I do sudo vi slash utc salt minion.d slash master.con, for example, I can just literally take this IP because on my ADBS side, I've allowed all security groups to allow all traffic between these two particular instances. I'm going to just say master is equal to that. Now, restart the salt minion service now in a few minutes oh, we should see might take a little bit oh wait though there we go so I decided to name this um, this minion dev host one so if I look here minion ID, it's named dev host one. So that's what I've got my unaccepted keys. So I can just go ahead and accept this. And I'll proceed and it's been accepted. Now, if you have like an auto scaling group or anything like that, you might want to actually have this in a, in a private uh, VPC, then you can accept all, uh, all um, keys automatically. Just make sure that it's in private VPC and does not have any access to the outside world outside of a VPN. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the contents of these particular uh, states are actually um, in going to be coming over here. So the first thing is I don't have these folders committed quite just yet. So I do have these uh, files committed. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that these get pulled over into this directory, which the master will be looking at. So to do that, I've renamed the repository to say salt because that's what exactly we, we named our folder in the master config. So if you look, for example, uh, master.d and then, and then roots.conf, we named it salt. So we need to make sure that the states folder, which is this one right here, is inside salt and that's what's in, gonna be in git right there. So let's go ahead and clone this. This is a public repository, so I'll put the description of this uh, repository in the, into the URL, into the description. I'll put the link in the description, sorry. So let's go ahead and get clone this into the correct directory. So let's go to SRV, and then so we should be able to do sudo git clone. Now if you don't have git installed, you can just do sudo app git install git. And then that should be it. So now if I look at salt, I have these two files, great. And that's exactly where I need to start. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be go ahead and make sure that these get pushed over. So make sure I'm in my right directory. I got all of that. And there's nothing because these folders have nothing in them. So. I guess I can't do that quite just yet. So in the next, this is my setup all completed. At this point, this this window has the salt master and the minion correctly configured. The master can talk to the minion and that's all I needed to do. Now we can go ahead and write, write some states and pillars and so on and, and continue forth. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.